Yeah. So Josh. Was... I don't think that was five fucking minutes, but it is what it is. I, I don't think that was five minutes. Hold on. I got to do one more thing right here. Can't see. Oh, can't you see what that woman's been doing to me? What's up, Daniel? Nick coming in with a video. All boobs and good are good boobs. All boobs are good boobs, brother. All boobs are good boobs. I, I concur with that statement. Thank you for the video, man. I'm watching from Birmingham, UK. Welcome in. Birmingham, UK. Chat, if uh, you're just now coming in, please hit that thumbs up for me. Uh, free of charge again. Doesn't cost you a dime. What's up, Chris? What's up, Ms. Caleb? Ah, oh, damn. Put in fucking eye drops. What's up, Mike? What's up, Caleb? What's up, Jason? What's up, Chris? Uh, what's up, Dan? What's up, David? Nick, Dylan, Cock Diesel, Kev, Daniel, Dylan, uh, Mike, Carlos, Austin, Joshua, Adam, Tyler, uh braxton what's up what's up baby? what's up braxton what's up big dog uh jessup uh who else what's up mike coming in with a resub thank you so much mike yeah so i was just live on kick and twitch and then i decided to go live uh on here hey braxton shouldn't you f and be in school right now motherfucker oh, curtis kayla with the resub mike with a nine months kayla og status right there uh thank you so much for the resub baby uh, now I have to be good and watch my language. Hello. What's up, Jack Russell? That's a badass name, dude. What's up, Brandon? Why am I live on here right now? Because uh, I just fucking do. Just came from Twitch. Hell yeah. So what you guys don't know is uh, you have to keep hours up on Facebook uh, to be a level up streamer. So what's up, Nicole? What's up, baby? Facebook only gets 30 minutes your day. Now, I'll be on here probably like an hour. Oh, Miss Crystal, what's up? Beautiful long time no see. Hope all is well. Hey, that's an OG right there, baby. Thank you for the 50 stars. It's good to see your beautiful face. It's been forever. Man, what is up, big dog? Yeah, so I was literally just on kick uh, and Twitch, and I just ended my stream. Uh, Will says I'm new here. <laughs> Will, you got a little penis? What's up, Chad? Bro, I'm fucking telling you, dude. Everyone's views are uh, probably 80% effing down, but just a couple of motherfucking streamers. But just a couple of streamers. What's up, little peepee? What's up, Wayne? What's up, David? Battle Royale! Kayla with a 982 followage. God damn. Damon with an 895 followage. Come on, bro. Stop, bro. Stop, dude. What's up, Derek? Bro. My man, motherfucker, said Star Party Challenge started. My man, the Olsen fucking Star Bomb. I'm gonna motherfucking rap about you. I'm gonna fucking rap about you. I am. Ow. I'm gonna fucking rap about you, King. It's about you. King James is girthy. He really, really is. When he swings his dick, he swings it really big. Look at him and look at you. He has a big dick, unlike you. Fuck you, King James is the fucking man. He swings his dick the best that he can. Girthy and thick is what it's about. He has a big ball on his left fucking side. If you look at his testicular sack, his left ball is bigger than his fucking right. I don't know why that is, but all I can think is he sucked his thumb as a little fucking kid. When he sucked his thumb as a little fucking kid, he switched. <laughs> like, ha, you say, King James, and that's why your fucking left testicle is larger than your right testicle is because you sucked your thumb as a kid, but when you sucked your thumb, you sucked it to the left. 
and that's the right god damn it if that if, if i fucking knew that's all it fucking took was that i'd be fucking sucking my thumb till fucking right fucking now god damn it. hey bro you're a legend dude unfucking real and i told you to stop fucking doing that too mother. that's my fucking new ringtone ha <laughs> i fucking better be I fucking better be king james big right ball no shit big left ball nice beard eats pussy for fun eats pussy for fun king james king james game king james king james oh fuck hold on a second hold on king james king james big left ball <laughs> oh shit here comes gas big left ball big left ball big left ball king james king james king james eats pussy for fun <laughs> eats pussy for fun <laughs> I eat fucking pussy for fun too. Damon coming in with a 50. Thank you so much, Damon. Big old dick on you. Huh? Yeah, big old, big old dick, motherfucker. Got a big old dick on me. Yeah. Uh, you should know. Woke up with a half eaten pizza in my hotel room sink. Bro, so chat. All right, so chat. Listen to this fucking shit. So if you guys don't know, um, I met this beautiful specimen at Loot Fest back in February of this year. All right. We got fucking drunk the whole goddamn weekend, yada, yada, yada. So supposedly, I'm dead here, dude. So supposedly, and I don't know how oh, I'm dead as fuck here, dude. Oh, I'm dead as fuck. I'm just gonna start this over. So fucking supposedly, um, I was in his hotel room and I ate a half a pizza and i left the rest in his kitchen sink and i left i don't think that's an accurate statement because that's not something i would do billy with the resub thank you billy um but that's supposedly the story is that i went into his hotel room ate his pizza and fucking left that fucking shit in the goddamn sink <laughs> i was drunk as a motherfucker that night bro i don't fucking remember nothing guy what's up brent with the 942 I was drunker than a motherfucker that night. But see, here's what I don't get is because I know King, sorry. So this is what fucking happened. I'm gonna fucking tell you. So I re remember this a little bit. I remember this a tad. So I remember it was late as fuck. I don't know who was with us, but, it, but I know it was me king james and another streamer or two i don't even know but it was just me and king james we knocked on this one door because i guess we were looking uh, for my room or something i don't know we knocked on this random fucking door they open it up and they are in there sniffing blow fucking they have coke like all all over the fucking hotel room and shit um and it was just a random room we accidentally knocked in so we walk in because i'm drunk as fuck and when i get drunk as fuck i want to speak to fucking every fucking body i want i am everybody's friend so we just walk fucking in there's cocaine everywhere and shit i'm like yeah this is a bad idea this is a really fucking bad idea so we leave and this chick who was in that room leaves with us i don't know who the fuck she, i don't know who the fuck she is god damn it so we go up to king james's hotel room that's all that i effing remember that's all i fucking remember after that god damn no we didn't fucking fucking snip no blow or nothing but but what is the fucking randomness that you walk or that you knock on a fucking random ass effing door 
that you walk into a random ass effing door and there's cocaine everywhere. <laughs> That's my fucking luck, god damn it. That's fucking my fucking luck. And supposedly King James says he did not have sex with that chick, but she was all up into that motherfucker. She was nice. <laughs> she was nice, dude. And I'm about 95% positive you guys fuck too, but you just don't want to admit that motherfucker, dude. You just don't want to admit that motherfucker, dude. Oh, I'm telling you, it was a crazy fucking weekend, bro. Holy shit, what a crazy fucking weekend, dude. Target's off. Get to work. Bro, I'm fucking telling. Fuck out my game, bitch. Fuck out my game. What's up, Queen? Hookers and blow? Uh, I don't know if there's any hookers, but there was 100% some blow there for fucking sure. God damn it. Dude, I'm fucking telling you. I don't know, but we knocked on the wrong effing door. They fucking open it up for some reason and there's fucking cocaine everywhere. She was punctual and a lady. I was respectful. I thought that stuff was BC powder. <laughs> I thought it was BC powder too, bro. <laughs> BC powder is the powder. Powder of BC. <laughs> he said I thought that was BC powder, mother. God damn, boy. God damn, motherfuckers. I thought it was BC powder, mother. Ah, hey, Nick. Uh, thank you so much for the video. What else would be in a hotel? Yeah, facts, bro. Facts, dude. Shit was nuts, man. How many women do I have now, and what is the flavor of today? Let me see here. Uh, that is 100% Egyptian poon juice right there. God damn it. That's that fucking Egyptian poon right there. God damn it. What's up, Kathy? Ooh, Facebook. I know. I know. I know. Guys, one more time. If, if you have not hit that reaction button, please do that for me right now. Also, one more time, a big, big shout out to my fucking man. The man with the master plan, King fucking James with that fucking outrageously beautiful fucking star bomb headaches went away and the drunken <laughs> fucking headache went away goddamn because of the fucking bc powder motherfucker <laughs> he said the headache fucking went away because of the bc powder yeah how many wins have i had at today hey what's up baby king james bd energy he's got the big dick energy for show for show uh, I have had uh, this is my 13th game of the day and I've had nine wins Yep Was it stone mountains room? No, it was not stone mountains room. We have no clue whose room it fucking was We legit have no clue of Whose room that we uh, knocked on. no fucking clue. They just got him opened it up and got in there was cocaine and fucking Women everywhere, goddamn fucking. Wait a fucking hit every shot there, hit. Oh, Coke fucking mount. Nah, it wasn't Coke, bro. It was DC powder, duh. Coke and hookers, goddamn it. My non two favorite things. <laughs> well, I'm all right with the uh, hookers, but uh, not with the Coke. Now, chat, I will tell you guys this. I have heard that if you want to lose weight in a timely fashion, that... Yo! Yo! Is that you, bro? Woo, woo, woo! What? 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 Are we chilling? Yeah, we're fucking chilling, bro. Come on, where the fuck are you? Hell yeah. Hell Come... yeah, dog. Hell yeah, dog. Look, I am in the road. You're getting closer. You're in the road? Right, yeah, 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 see? We killing though, right? We killing. Yeah. Hey! Oh, shit! That wasn't even him who shot me, bro. Motherfucker, dude. That wasn't even him who shot me. 
Uh, Kathy says mollies are actually fun. Jesus Christ. Don't fucking take mollies. The fuck? God damn. Oh shit. What the fuck? This is how yesterday's fucking games have been. This is how today's games have been. Just like that. That was a little sus, was it not? I've been playing like shit here lately, man. Uh, so I will tell you, uh, and I probably shouldn't say this, but uh, like if you guys have ever had shrooms, those are fucking fun. Those are fucking fun. What's up, Lee? Those are fun. But you should always just say no to drugs god damn it just say no to drugs god damn it tell you that shit right now just say hey crack is whack just ask old whitney god damn it crack is whack as fuck god damn it. all right chat has anybody eaten shrooms yes or no has anybody eaten shrooms by before I bet you can't eat a regular mushroom. I hate fucking mushrooms. I hate fucking mushrooms with a goddamn fucking... I hate fucking mushrooms so fucking bad, dude. Evan says, I have never done any type of drug. Mushrooms is not a drug. Drugs are bad, okay? Drugs are real, real bad, okay? Okay. Do not forget to use lube when you stick it in her butt. Okay. <laughs> okay. Bro, you, bro, let me fucking tell you something. I am not into any kind of drugs. I don't do fucking drugs. You know, I may have an occasional toke of something, but um, I don't do drugs. But I have a feeling that since... Biden has become president, the drugs prices are probably like out the fucking roof now. Probably like so expensive. Drugs don't sniff beastly powder. Okay. Okay. The best part of waking up is lube up in your butt hey guys have you guys ever woken up in a condom that was in your ass yeah that's a fucking shitty fucking night there literally that's a fucking shitty night there god damn motherfucker. ow god damn that is a shitty night there literally Has that ever happened to any person in my chat? Has that ever happened to any person in my chat where you woke up and a condom was half in your ass and half out? People are on drugs, they forget Biden's the president. God damn, fuck. Hey, Nick, they have the video. Um, an eight ball is probably like 500 bucks now. How much was it before, Jay? I don't know how much an eight ball is. Here, let me let me see. Let me Google that. How much is a They says an eight ball typically costs anywhere between 150 and 350 bucks hey all you assholes in the effing chat answering that jesus fucking cry what the fuck everyone in the fucking chat's like that's ah, about 275 <laughs> the fuck god damn it 
god damn all you goddamn assholes are like well actually it is 3.7 grams and it should equal out to about 275 dollars god damn the fuck jesus fucking christ god damn we got some fucking coke heads in this motherfucker jesus christ every fucking body just fucking answer that quick as fuck god damn what the fuck bro god, god. well normally coke it yeah damn the fuck guys the fuck straight up this fucking group needs oh come on man this fucking group needs some blow the man down hey i'm gonna huff and i'm gonna puff and i'm gonna blow <laughs> fuck I got your hook up. Yeah. Holla if you hear me. I'm getting the fuck out of here, dude. That dude sucks. Where's Judy? This guy wants to fuck, god damn it. I don't even know where the fuck he's at. Getting the fuck out of here. He says we need an intervention. God damn, dude! All y'all motherfuckers are like two seventy-five. Fuck. <laughs> God damn. All right, um, chat. How much is meth? How much? How much is? How much? The, <laughs> hey, chat. How much is uh meth, goddamn? <laughs> How much does fucking meth cost, goddamn? The fuck? What? Bro, how's he seeing me, dude? Man, this guy sus as fuck, dude. That's a real methed up question. Yeah, that's pretty methed up, bro. Dude, this guy sus as fuck, dude. Like sus as fuck, dude. Yes, yeah, so I'll be honest with you. Like, I never really ever ever got into in that's uh, drugs, man only because only because of my pops he was an addict and you know and all that shit and i didn't i didn't i didn't i didn't fucking like that bro dude that is one effing drug that you just shouldn't a fuck with dude like that fucking legit is the one fucking drug that you just shouldn't fuck with is meth, dude. Check it into it because of pops. Just sucks. Like, you shouldn't like you know, you should never, you know, do like coke and shit, but Yeah, the meth and shit is like the one where you just shouldn't fucking do, dude. That shit's scary. That shit is effing scary as fuck, dude. That shit's scary as a motherfucker, dude. And I will tell you a, another one that's scary as fuck, too, is fentanyl. Dude, bro, people are fucking dying left and fucking right from that shit now, bro. Shit's scary, man. Shit's scary, dude. Because, like, because you truly don't know what is in your shit now, dude. Like, like people... A lace 
fucking shit fucking with everything now dude literally they fucking lay shit with everything it's scary now dude that's my fucking tire bro but i just got I just got my fucking snipe like a little bitch up in it hey hey shut up your wife right now hey hey bro shut up your fat wife hey bro shut your fat wife up hey bro hey hey i know you okay. can hey hey are you there are you playing with this dude or something hey no. sexy right, well, hey baby hey you sexy thing hold on hey baby hey baby you fucking sound sexy as shit girl hell yeah you, you do leave it. hey baby Switch it. baby that was that hard that is fucking hard as shit hell yeah fire harder motherfucker <laughs> hey bro where's your wife at bro she is in the living room is she naked unfortunately no yeah why not bro hey has she ever sucked off one of your friends before i hope not has she i think she up and <laughs> has bro i guarantee she fucking has bro I, I, I bet she's just fucking sucked all your effing friends off bro. So, are, so are you just about to ask her yeah we're gonna, we're gonna ask yeah so why don't you ask her goddamn ask her Hey, baby, have you ever sucked any of my friend's penis off before? Hey, bro, ask her. Hello? Hello? Bro. You are not alone. <laughs> I am yeah, here it. with We're you. So, are you gonna move or what? Hello. I'm trying to find some sniper ammo. Yeah. I'll so. let you have some, bro. Or would you like uh, 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 to work together? I mean, I'm down. All right, all right. I am all the way under you don't fucking kill me bro because i won't kill you all right, all right see right me there. Up here. Yeah. that is me right fucking there all right dude where are you i'm still on the roof all right here i come that's me that's me that's me right there it's me it's me oh, okay. it's me i'm not gonna kill you all right here i'm coming up on the roof right fucking now all right bro Kish, where's your wife at? Hey, there's somebody else here. That's me, that's me, that's me. Where is he? There ain't nobody else here, is there? I heard somebody else on Prox chat. Did you? Whoa, I just, I just got my fucking sniped out like a little bitch, mm -hmm. bro. Yep, 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 yep. I am up on this okay. roof. Where the hell are you at? Uh, I just hopped down. I'm up on this roof. I don't fucking see you nowhere. There you are. Right here, right here, right here, right here. Okay. Get up on that motherfucking roof. Oh shit, dude. Yep, yep, yep. Right over here. Kim four, Kim four. Hey bud. Hey bud. Where do you go? Where do you go? Right here, right here, right here, right here. Look, look, look. Right here, right here. Look, 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 look. So there's here? assholes at nine up on that roof, bro. I'm gonna wax his ass, all right? Okay, that's you that I see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm, boom! Motherfucker! Oh, shit! 
don't know how he uh, survived that motherfucker, dude. Alright, I'm right up here with you on the left side. He's over there, bro. He's a little close. bitch, bro. I no fucking he, yeah, I don't have any either. I have literally fucking zero, <laughs> dude. Literally, I've got zero. Here, let's go hop in uh, this motherfucker and get some plates. Um, oh, shit! Sir! A little bitch, dude. The dude's a bitch, bro. Watch out. Hey, bro! Hey, bro! Hey, army! Did you die? It's down to 10. You can win this. Bro, people are sus as fuck, dude. Look at this guy. Wait, watch this guy, chat. Bro, did you see the snap? Did you see the snap? Come on, dude. Come on, bro. Tell me you did not fucking... He's got one kill. Did he just get lucky? I want to watch this guy out he, he, he only has one kill but that was sus as fuck bro we're gonna fucking watch this guy for a second all right miss kathy i hope you have a wonderful rest of your day beautiful I've got a big dick. <laughs> fucking pussy right here, motherfucker. Why are you looking that way, fat ass? This fucking nerd, dude. He don't get no puss for show, chat. What's up, Potter? I don't know if he's hacking or if it was just that was just a lucky ass shot, dude. He's a he's a fucking pussy though. He's on BC Powder. Yeah, <laughs> he's a pussy though. This fucking nerd. The fuck? Hey, bro, why do you keep fucking looking up there, bitch? Yo, fucking bitch. This motherfucker. How'd you know there's a fucking dude right there? See, he doesn't miss. This guy doesn't miss. I bet he has a fat fucking mom. She eats all the food cause he is so dumb. He has a fat mom, I guarantee. She has a big labia and big titties. He doesn't miss any fucking shots he does. Is he hacking, is he not? I don't fucking know. It's super fucking sus, he's a little fucking sus. He doesn't miss shots, he likes it up the butt. Dude, this dude doesn't miss his shots, bro. I fucking told you, bro. He doesn't miss. That dude came out of fucking lightning ball right there. Oh, I gotta watch this shit right now. God damn it. He missed a few right there. The fuck he did. Super sus, bro. Chat, if you have not hit that reaction button, tickle my butthole and call me a slut. Hit that motherfucker. Shit. Hit that fucking button. Shit. Fuck. <laughs> Give me one reason to stay here. And I'll turn right back around. Uh, Give me one reason to stay here. And I've got a big fucking dick. <laughs> Bro, how many of you guys have had sex to this song? Uh, definitely not that song. <laughs> the fuck, the fuck, god damn it. We've been brewing. God damn it. No, right. Sir.
Put a little hump on. Truly, madly, deeply by fucking Seth Hedge Garden. <laughs> God damn, bro. He's in for living. He's in. Uh, Jose says hit how old are you I'm 23 I turned 23 uh, last Monday on the 15th bitch ass motherfucker and your loud ass motherfucking barking dog fuck you motherfucker what's up bitch what's up bitch what's up bitch what's up bitch Oh fuck! Yeah. What's up, Shelbo? Enough training. Now we face the enemy for real. Uh, he's a, Don. Thank you so much for the two years, one month resub, John. Thank you for the resub as well, man. I'm gonna suck on Grandma's titties. I love to suck on Grandma's titties. I'm gonna suck. On Grandma's titties. Uh, Josh says, what is your favorite sport? Baseball. Calypso Colada Poonani. That'd be the best poon ever, dude. That would be the... Dude, if poon tasted and smelled like Calypso uh culotta bro could you even imagine uh sean says i have an addiction sean what is your addiction my brother speak to me brother speak to me brother what did my cock say squirt 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 Squirt, 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 squirt. What did my cock say? I am waiting to sub on kick. I unsub here and then some big dick legend gift to me. So when I'm done, I'll sign up. Oh, what's up? What's up? Uh, appreciate that, Polly. Uh, where is shelby so um sometimes people need to take a mental break um from the internet and that is what she is ah uh, sean says i am addicted to granny punani there is nothing that is not an addiction at all that's just a love brother uh you do not have an addiction you have a love uh, there's a big big discrepancy between addiction and love and if you love grandma Poonani, uh that is not an addiction that's just love baby what's up mark greetings from germany hell yeah that's not an addiction we <laughs> I think there's somebody in the yo, yo. Hey, yo, yo, motherfucker. Would you Just like uh, to work together? I am walking uh, in here now. I won't kill you. You don't kill me. I'm right here. I'm right here. I'm not, I, dude, I could have already wasted you. I'm not killing you. I, I know. I know. Dude, look at this fucking guy. You. Look at this sexy motherfucker down yeah, here. Yeah, fucking murk that bitch. You, you fucking to jump down murk that here. motherfucker. Bro, look. Yeah. He even. He even. Bitch has wood bro look at that shit right here he even has Damn. fucking wood bro you done you done wood. you done <laughs> i'm effed up as effing wood and shit bro how dare you man all, all right bro i'm headed out bro all right dude have you have a, you have a wonderful one too dude good fucking Don't day dude i'm not shooting i'm not a backstabber 
I only like asshole, bro. You know? Oh. God damn. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Don't fucking shoot my ass. Hey! Who's fucking shooting it's you, bro? It's the wood guy again. It's the wood guy again. Hey! What's up, dude? That's, fu again. That's fucking me. Check him out. Oh, is, 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 is this motherfucker again? Yeah, I killed him. Bro, you got knocked the fuck out, bro. <laughs> nah, little puss. <laughs> All right, well, let's work that uh, together here. Come on with it. Yeah, let's go. All right. Hey, I got to ask you a question, bro. Yeah. Have you ever masturbated and it squirt in your own face? I have not. Yeah, why not, bro? It's, I mean, oh, no, I haven't either. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't either, bro. It's gross. Bro. All like, right. Who does that? Yeah, that's pretty gross. <laughs> that's pretty gross, bro. Yeah, that's pretty gross, bro. Ah, uh, are you happens, currently though. uh in a relationship or anything? Uh, no, I am single with no kids. So you're gay? And I have. Oh, oh yeah. You're Big gay too. Yeah, I am too, bro. I'm fucking gay shit too. Yeah, yeah you know, gay, yeah, like gay. it happens, dude. Yeah, hey, I'm fucking gay as fuck too, dude. Yeah, gay just shit, dude. having fun. Yeah, there ain't nothing fucking wrong with that. Nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong with that. Ain't nothing wrong with that. All right, so hey, when was the last time you had a sexual partner? Last night. Who is she? Uh, her name is Lori. No, no, no. Like, I don't give a fuck about her name, but like, She's who is she? Just a, a friend. Like, <laughs> so, so you guys have like, uh, so you guys have like, you know, just Gas sex. Get to the new safe zone. Hey! Yeah. Oh, my bad, my bad, my bad, Shit. my bad. So you guys have yeah just sex she knows she knows the deal yeah well oh no is she hot oh yeah like how yeah, hot is hot titties, too. she's got big titties oh yeah big old big titties does she yeah like how large of titties uh probably like uh i think they're like c's or d's they're pretty big they're fake oh they're fucking fake titties yeah, bro. Oh, fuck yeah, dude. So, nice. how's her vagina? Is it effing shaved? Super gushy. Gushy. Oh, she's a effing squirter? Red. Yeah, buddy. Oh, she's squirter, bro? Hell yeah. That's, and it is shaved, yes. It's shaved, and she's a squirter, and she's got fake titties? Bro. And it's super, super tight, too. Super bro. tight, like, too? Well maintained. Well maintained, maintained pussy? Well maintained. Yes, dude, it's the best. All right. Listen. Do you have a picture of her pussy? No, not on me. Of her? Not currently, no. Oh my god. Alright, how old is she? Some. 34. Oh, bro, that's fucking ripe goddamn age right there, bro. Yes. So no, They're I'm like in their fucking so prime awesome. right there, bro. They're in their and they don't play any games. They yeah, bro. They, yeah, they just fucking want to fuck, bro. That's it, bro. All right, all right. Okay, Fire this is over. a oh, question look, here. Over here. This is a question, though. Ass play, for yes it. or no? For me or for them? No, for her. But she's like, oh, yeah, yeah. She's oh, all she about likes it. ass play? Yeah. Okay. All right, she's all about it. How about cum? It's like, oh, my God, no. Yes. Bro, do you oh, want no. no, no, she's, she's a freak, bro. Bro. Why don't you have and marry this chick, bro? Oh, shit. Oh, shit. I got him. Don't you oh, fucking die on me. Oh, uh, he got me. Bro! Oh, man. Where's your shit? Yeah, where's your shit, bro? Ah, <laughs> oh, damn it. All right, so chat. I'm going to be quite honest with you guys. That is my kind of effing woman right there. Dude, she is in her sexual prime. She has a nice shaved puss, fake titties and shit. She, you know, she loves ass fucking play and shit. That is my kind of fucking woman right there. Dude. My kind of woman. God damn. This fucking pansy, bro. Look at that effing movement though, chat. That was some good fucking movement right there. 
Oh, bro, I've got one fucking armor plate, dude. I've got one fucking armor plate right here, goddammit. Chat, we are 12 reactions away from 250, goddammit. 12. 12. I want to get to 250 reactions a stream. 12, chat. There's a guy up there now. God damn, dude. There's fucking dudes everywhere. Bro. Moving in. New safe zone located. Bro, I'm telling you guys now, the the women in their mid 30s are the freakiest fucking women ever, dude. Dude, the women in the 30s are the freakiest women. Oh, no, 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 no. Sucks suck, bitch. Is he using a fucking shotgun? Mid 30s here, facts, bro. Women in their 30s, bro. Women in their mid fucking thir 30s love cock, bro. They love cock. They love all kind of cock. Fucking random cock. Fucking husband's cock. Fucking their boss's cock. Women in their 30s love cock and butt sex, dude. Straight up, dude. Cock and fucking butt sex, bro. What's up, Xbox? I'm doing wonderful, man. Hey, he's using a fucking shotgun like a puss, bro. Like a fucking puss and shit. God damn, dude, I can't win for shit today. I can't win for shit today, bro. What's up, Brittany? The task force. Mine's in her 30s and she's not. I got the wrong woman. Bro, let me, let me just fucking tell you guys something. If you are in a cock a doodle doo, motherfucker. Yeah. If you are in a relationship with a woman in her 30s and she is not putting out, one of two things is happening. Number one, she's fucking her boss. She's fucking the shit out of her boss or a coworker. Or number two, she is fucking the shit out of her boss or a coworker. <laughs> if your chick in her mid thirties is not fucking your brains out, she's fucking somebody else, bro. You're thinking about too much cock. Think of that. Think of the other, and you should help. I'm thinking about cock. Ah, uh, Cody, thank you so fucking much, dude. I'm telling you, man. Women and their. 30 should be just fucking, 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 God damn it. Just fucking. She's always tired. Oh. Task Force says she's always tired, sore, and has a headache. She's always tired because she was fucking, so she's exhausted. She's sore because she's fucking big cock. And, and she has a headache because she was bobbing her head too fucking much. That's <laughs> what the fuck, bro. Frank, congratulations on the softball. Well done, girls. Hey, Frank, thank you so much for that in the 100 stars, brother. You know what I'm saying? Fuck. I got a woman. Makes sense. I'm telling you, man. Plus, let me just fucking tell you something. It's so much easier to cheat now than probably 20 fucking years ago. I will tell you why. It's so much easier to cheat now because of text messaging and like in like fucking Snapchat and shit. It's so much easier to fucking cheat fucking now, dude. Because women, this is what's crazy, all right? It's so much easier to cheat now because of Snapchat. Let me, let me just tell you why. Because the, the messages erase and shit. Also, on Facebook Messenger, you can have private messages that many people don't even know about. Um, and then text, you just fucking erase text. But 
but but it is easier to cheat but it's also easier to get caught now too bro snapchat is the fucking for fucking cheaters bro uh we all show I me mean, damn we only live once we should be fucking all the time facts bro facts bro all right chat there's 200 people in here and i have asked this question before i've asked this question before um and i'm curious i want to ask you about this question all right because i'm just curious all right what's up thomas if your wife or girlfriend or fiance came up to you and said hey baby i you know what i want to spice in up our love life would you let me go would you would you come with me to a glory hole and i want to suck random cock but if you don't know what a glory hole is it's a place where men stick their cock in a hole and you just suck random cock would you allow your woman to do that with you yes or no yes or no chat Kid says hundo. Look at all the fucking hell fucking nose, dude. Listen, listen, I'll be I'll be effing honest with you, bro. You know what? I'll be effing honest with you. Like, as I have gotten older and you know, like sh fucking shit like that, like I used to be a jealous motherfucker, dude. Like a jealous motherfucker. Now, like if you have honesty in your relationship, then whatever, dude. Like, like I am effing down to fucking party, dude. Um, because it's 100%, it's all about effing honesty, man. What's up, JD? Like it's all about fucking honesty. Yes, 100% a diseases and you have to be effing careful 1000 percent i'm not at all saying that because you should always be careful but man you know what guys you fucking live this life one fucking time man i will repeat what i just said you guys live this fucking life one time man have fucking fun man live your fucking life to the goddamn fucking fullest L live your fucking life to the goddamn fucking fullest. Uh, Xbox says, if you want randos, then go get randos. Relationships aren't about fucking randos. Relationships are about working on the relationship together. No, 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 no. I disagree with that 100%. I disagree with that 100%. And let me fucking tell you why. Oh, you know what? I'm gonna fucking leave this map. Let me tell you why I disagree with what you just said, okay? You just, hold on let me let me just reread that so i can make sure if you want rando then go get a rando relationships aren't about fucking randos relationships are about working on the relationship together i disagree i think that every relationship is different i think that there are many relationships where you know it should be just one-on-one -on -one. i think that there are other uh, relationships that you know that would work off of having fun um being open uh with your sexuality i'm not talking about gay but just like exploring having fun um you know i think that's fucking different i think that every relationship is different i fucking do now is is taking your wife to a glory hole for every fucking dude no it is and no it's fucking not it absolutely is fucking not but but to say but to say that our relationships are about working on the relationship together i mean it's right and it's fucking wrong you know you know uh that's fine just don't get married why all right chat listen what is so wrong? Oh, wait, wait a second, chat. Wait a second. You didn't share it, Lou? Yeah. All right, chat. Answer this fucking question. Answer this fucking question, chat. What is so wrong with being 
um, with being in a very sexual relationship and having fun? Answer that, answer that question. What is wrong with being in a, in a sexual relationship and exploring and having fun? Answer that. Ken says not a damn thing. All right, so if you say that, no, 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 no. So if you say, hey, if, 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 if you say, hey, um, if you say, hey, a relationship is just supposed to be about man and woman, husband and wife, and that's it, then let me ask you this question. And I guarantee that your husband watches porn without you and masturbates. 100% everyone does. So when he watches porn, he's watching another woman. I guarantee you he's thinking about that other woman. So that's not okay or that's okay? Uh, 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 I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Uh, Jerry says, I married my wife and committed to be with just her. I expect the same thing from her. I think it's respect. 1,000%, there's nothing wrong with that. What I'm saying is if you two agree and there's 100% honesty on both, uh, on both, you know, partners, then there's nothing fucking wrong with that. Listen, there is nothing fucking wrong at all with an old school a relationship. Nothing. I am not, I am not, I am not fucking knocking that 100%. Whatever works, works. If it, if a old school a relationship works and you are about man and wife, husband and wife, wife and husband, hey, nothing wrong with that. But what I'm fucking saying is that you can't knock anyone's a relationship um, just because because everyone's different. Literally, every every a relationship is fucking different, man. Uh, as long as everyone is in agreement, the situation feel comfortable, then nothing at all. Have fun. Facts, bro. Facts, bro. Facts, bro. Nothing wrong with anyone you say uh, love. Everyone has the right to choose what works. Facts. Thousand up, thousand up percent. That's what I am fucking saying is that you guys can't knock and fucking say, well, that's disgusting. Why would you take your wife to a glory hole or why would you, uh, your wife let you have sex with two other fucking women it's what works you know it's uh, you know it's it's just what works uh for um people how is porn compared to a glory hole bro bro you're not understanding what i'm saying i read a comment and it said that relationships is about a man and a woman nothing else but when a man looks at porn and is thinking about another woman and not his wife, I'm just fucking saying, then you can't fucking say that. Uh, Aussie coming in with the 200. Congratulations on the win this past weekend uh, with Team Hit. Thank you so much, Aussie. Thank you so much. Uh, hey, man, do you think your, your significant other would be okay if you wanted to suck cock at a glory hole? Well, I don't like cock. I... I Fucking, I like pussy. Austin says, not saying it's disgusting, was asking if you would uh, be willing to take your significant other to a glory hole. Listen, in a relationship, it's a, about respect, loyalty, and fucking honesty. Those three fucking things. Respect, loyalty, honesty, and fucking compromise. If, if I was in a relationship okay with a person and she said hey you know what um i love you i respect you um but i want to explore other things in the sexual field with you as in i i want you there you know i want you're okay if you're not okay with it then it's fine by me and we won't do it you know um you know i'm you know i'm 100 down because if you don't have honesty in a relationship the relationship will never work. So if you do that and it doesn't work out, then hey, you you know what? Good, that relationship didn't work out and I don't have to 
deal with the fucking bullshit. Uh, Xbox says, what works for me is we don't allow others in our relationship. I'm a, I'm a very jealous woman. My husband is not. He is very confident in himself, but I don't ever want to go uh, elsewhere. If I ever do, that's a whole other ball. And there's nothing fucking wrong with that. It's called a relationship. <laughs> 100% dude and see that's what I am getting at it is about honest and open communication trust me there probably 90% of the relationships could never say hey baby you know what I would like to have fun and explore I want to have a woman come in to our bedroom and have a threesome many relationships you can't do that but what I'm saying is other relationships you know, um, you know, it just fucking is. Uh, Will says, what are three red flags on a first date? Ooh, that's a good question. What are three red flags on a first date? Um, I would say red flag number one on a first date is if a person is on their cell phone constantly. That's a major red fucking flag. Um, now, that can go two different ways. Bro, get the Come on, bro. Come on, dude. Come on, bro. Stop. Come on. Come on. Come on. Help. Bro, come on. Come on. Come on, come on. Bro, fuck me, dude. Unfucking believable. Please stop, bro. You've done so fucking much for this, for fucking me, for this stream. Uh, I have to bounce y'all. Got some unfortunate things to take care of today. Hope uh I'll be going to chopper and hauling ass. Brother, thank you so fucking much, bro. Unfucking believable. Chat. Can we get a big hashtag, King fucking James, man? Please, can we get... Thank you, brother. I love you, dude. I fucking love you, brother. Thank you, dude. Hope all is effing. I hope all is well, and I will hit you up uh, in just a little bit, brother. Hey, dude, I love you, dude. God fucking A, man. God fucking A, dude. Look at that, bro. Yeah, I have fucking tears again. That's two fucking, that's two fucking times you made me cry, motherfucker. Shit, dude, the fucking generosity in that man, dude. The fucking love in that man, dude, is unfucking believable. Is unfucking believable, dude. Is unfucking believable. The fucking love in that man is unfucking believable, man. God, oh fucking mighty. Hey, brother, nothing but love, nothing but prayers. Thank you, dude, and I fucking love you, brother. Love you, dude. God, what a good dude, man. Nick says, uh, hit, you need to die your. It's the fucking brand new lighting, dude. Looks bad. All right, so brother, thank you, dude. Thank you, dude. Um, what are three red flags on a first date? Um, I'm gonna have to say three red flags on a first date. Um, always on your cell phone. Um, that's a good question. Always on your cell phone. If you are a man not paying the bill, for the woman uh, is a big red flag. Uh, number three. Number three, that's a good question, man. I'm gonna have to say always on their phone, not paying the bill if you're a man and not making me laugh talking about their ex constantly that's a good one dude j town that's a good one talking about their ex that is a very that's a good one dude that's a very good one what are three red flags on a first date always on their phone talking about their ex constantly and i'm gonna have to say um and and i I will have to say a big major red flag uh, for me is 
when they always talk about their own selves. Like when they talk about their selves nonstop, um, about like what they have, the fucking car they have, fucking the fucking how much money they make. Like, I don't like that shit. Another thing that I don't like, and if this pisses off any women, I'm sorry. Um, chat, is it just me? Or does any other man not like when women put the eyebrows, like the penciled eyebrows with the goddamn pencil and they look fake as fuck? Does anybody else fucking despise that, ladies? I'm going to be honest. I don't like that. And that, I will not date you. Straight up. Straight up. Uh, when they look fucking drawn on, oh my God. Does anybody else not like that? William says, bro, what is your first name? Reginald Octavio. Guys, is there any other dude that does not like that? Ladies, keep your eyebrows natural. They're beautiful. Keep your eyebrows natural. Trust me. You look beautiful. You look beautiful. Yeah, look, look, look. Pencil drawn eyebrows. Let me just fucking Google this. Where they just look fake as fuck. Let me see here. Yeah, like fucking this, chat. Like fucking that. <laughs> like that shit, bro. Oh my God. Or, or, or like this. No, keep your shit fucking natural, bro. Please. Please keep your shit natural. Uh, again, King... James, thank you so much, brother. I, I fucking love you, dude. Um, Crystal, what are you sipping on the mug? The old orgasmic juice has. That is Egyptian juices right there, beautiful. Yeah, old, old fucking pussy juices. Uh, Mark, David the Hunter, my girlfriend was drunk last night and she asked to fart in my mouth. Bro, that's a fucking keeper right there. That's a keeper right there. Like, bro, listen, like, I'll, like, I'll be honest with you. I am all for any woman who feels, uh, you know, the need to put makeup or have Botox or plastic surgery. If that helps your confidence, by all fucking means, you do you. You help with your mental health in any way, shape, or form. But I'm going to tell you something. You can go overboard. You can go over fucking board with makeup. See, I, so I'll be honest. With, I'll be perfectly honest with you. I prefer. I honestly believe women who are just natural, who just have a tad bit of makeup on, doesn't go crazy. I think that's way more sexier, man. Way more sexier. One picture shows my wife. Yeah. Mark, thank you so much for the hunter, man. I'm in a big mall in Toronto watching you. People are looking at me funny. Penis! <laughs> I love big pussy! She says I'm in a big mall in Toronto watching you. <laughs> Asshole play! <laughs> Stick a finger in my butt! <sighs> Let's play the game. I don't want to play the game. I'm playing the game all day. Shit. Every time you unbutton your shirt, my wife all of a sudden has to use a bathroom. Yeah, because she's fucking playing with her pussy, bro. William Maddox says, hit. Google says your monthly net worth is $51,500. Is that true? Wait. My monthly net worth is $51,000. Is that true or false? Let me just see. Let me see what Google says. Let me see, because it is actually on here. Dude, there's a lot of them on here. 
So one of them says that I have a net worth of 51,000. Uh, one says I have a net worth of 6,000. Uh, one has a net worth of 2.5 million. Uh, one has a net worth of 3.3 million. Uh, another one says that I have a net worth of $126,000. And another says I have a net worth of $1.7 million. So what do you guys think is my net worth? Out of all of that, what do you guys think is my net worth? I just told you what the internet says of me and my net worth. What do you guys think is my net worth? Actually, let me look at my real name, see if that says anything. Let me see what my real name says. If it even says anything. How the fuck does that fucking work, bro? How do they know my real fucking name? It says that I'm an actor, a comedian, and a streamer. The fuck? I didn't even know all this shit was on here, man. God damn. So, chat, so, you know, I'm going to be honest with you. Um, so, the IRS is probably watching. My net worth is $3.2,000. That's, <laughs> that's, <laughs> my net worth is $3.2,000. That is $3,200. Um, is my net worth because the IRS is watching. I'm going to go ahead and throw that out there. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to throw that out there, motherfucker. Fucking, fucking the IRS. Fucking $3,200 is my fucking uh, net worth. <laughs> I will fucking tell you this, though, chat. Same. <laughs> chat, I will fucking tell you this, goddammit. Um... I will tell you guys this, all right? That this year, mine's negative, mine is too. That this year, okay? This year, I had to pay more taxes than I have ever had to pay in my life. Thanks to Joe fucking Biden and his stupid ass tax fucking bracket fucking ass bullshit. You fuck this country up. Guys, I will never tell you who to vote for, don't vote for fucking Joe Biden. Please, he's ruining this fucking country. He's ruining, he's ruining this country. Over, over. Over, over, fuck, swear to God, this, it was, and what's crazy chat, and, and, and here's what's crazy, this, and, and I want you guys, and I hate talking about politics, I really, really do, but I, but I want you guys to process this, okay, I want you guys to process this, okay, Last year in 2000, or my last year's taxes versus, or my last year's taxes versus my last year's taxes. So in 2021, all right, I made $1,000 more than 2022. Listen, listen, listen now, listen. In 2021, I made $1,000 more than I did in 2022. In 2022, I had to pay 
16% more taxes. Did you guys just hear what the fuck I said? Fucking hear that? Fucking hear that? Ah, uh, Brittany says my dog voted for Biden in 2020. He's been at the shelter ever since. <laughs> Brittany, thank you for the pity facts, man. It's crazy, man. Uh, Jester, I just got a raise. Now I'm in the next tax bracket. I will owe more in taxes than what my raise is. Bro. 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 Bro, it's crazy. Tyler coming in with a 1,200 star bomb. No matter your net worth, I'll still bang you. Love you, man. Tyler. Thank you for the generosity, man, of the 1,200 stars. I'll bang the shit out of you, bro. Thank you so much, bro. Thank you so much, man. You're a legend. Tyler, 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 man. This man can. Yeah, legendary, bro. But it's so fucked up, man. Literally, literally almost 20% fucking more in taxes, bro. And I made less. I'll fucking wait. I'll fucking wait. Guys, can we get a big hashtag, Tyler? That person needs to look up marginal tax rates, bro. And, okay, what's crazy is that, that I have the most badass fucking accountant ever. Um, literally, she's fucking amazing. And I still got fucked, dude. And I still got fucked. I mean, let me just fucking tell you something. Writing a check to the fucking government for a big amount is the probably... I would rather get fucking banged by two fucking horses, bro, than have to write that fucking check, bro. Anthony says, you guys don't know how tax brackets work. No, 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 no. I know exactly how tax brackets work. Trust me. Are you fucking your accountant? No. Dude, she's, she's, she's an awesome lady. She's a big fucking lady though, bro. And I'm not even talking about fat either. She's uh she's like 6'3, bro. I'm not into super, super tall fucking women. Like, I am not into super, super tall fucking women. Like, that's not that that's not my thing, dude. Uh Nicholas says, How much did you owe? You're goddamn good. On your goddamn business, how much I owe. Hey, big girls need love. Oh, thousand percent, bro. Big girls do need love. But let me just fucking tell you something. All right. Six three. Yeah. That's tall for a fucking woman, dude. I like small women. I like petite women. I like skinny fucking women. Um, uh, you know. I just do. That's just my fucking thing, man. Ah, uh, Glenn says, you crazy Americans, your voting system, can anyone run for president? If so, uh, your net income could, if so, with your net income, could you run for, yes, any person, I could legit say, hey, you know what? I am going to make a run for the uh, United States president. I, I, any person in this country could technically run, yes. I was just curious, just say, is it more than four digits? I'm not gonna answer that. I'm blue, I would be off a guy, I'm blue. Uh, wait, what does that say? What industry do you think should make more money than they're making right now? Uh, bro, don't even get me fucking started on that. I think that people in the military should be making way more than they make. I think they should have way more effing benefits than they have. I think that people in the military should be paid more. I think that teachers should be fucking paid more. And I think that police officers, um, people in the ambulance and the fucking 
buyer should be paid more as well. That is who I think. Okay, fine, then I'll stop asking. Yeah, I'm not going to tell you how much I fucking paid in my taxes. The fuck? Bro, did, hey, did you guys see that new fucking law that was fucking passed that if you have a higher credit score, you will pay more on, on your fucking mortgage rate? Did you guys fucking see that shit? And that if you have a lower credit score, you will pay less? Tell me, did you guys fucking see that? Not even fucking joking with you. Google it. There is some new fucking bullshit fucking law tax bullshit that if you have a higher credit score, you are going to pay more on your fucking mortgage. Not even fucking with you. Not even fucking with you. I will fucking wait. I will fucking wait for you to explain that one to me. I will fucking wait for you to explain that. I'll fucking wait. Go ahead and fucking explain that one. Fuck. Where is this? In America, brother. And he says, why are you laundering money? What the fuck are you talking about? Straight up here. Let me, let me let me just fucking Google it. <laughs> higher credit score, higher mortgage. Here we go. Here we go. Starting May, here it is. Here it is. Here it is. Starting May. Uh, It says, under the rule, home buyers with a credit score of 680 or higher will reportedly have to pay about $40 per month more than people with worse credit scores uh, when taking out a home loan of $400,000. It says, higher credit consumers with scores ranging from 680 to 780 will see a spike in mortgage cost. Uh, according to the LP Bay Essential, the amounts of fees imposed on borrowers with high credit scores as a way of subsidizing those with, let it, with low credit scores. So they legit, the goal is to support federal initiatives to increase affordable housing acro across the country. Make that make sense. I'll be waiting here for the next 32 years to make that make sense. Thanks for paying your bills. Pay more for people who haven't paid their bills. Go ahead. Go ahead. I'll fucking wait, bro. Go ahead. I'll wait. Go ahead. I'll wait. Anthony says, go ahead. Let's have the twice impeached traitorous. Wait, what did you say? Wait a second. Anthony, 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 Anthony. Wait, what did you say? Anthony, wait a second. Anthony, Anthony, Anthony. Anthony, what was your whole comment, Anthony? Hold on a second. Anthony, 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 hold on, buddy. Hold on, buddy. What are you saying, buddy? What was your previous comment about uh, the trade, the trader who was impeached twice? Plenty of fact checking here. Hold on, Anthony. What is, what did you just uh, say, buddy? But you guys want to believe Anthony? What did you just fucking say, dude? Oh, 
Thank you. There you go. He says, yeah, let's have the twice impeached traitorous loser come back. Interesting. Someone said Trump should come back, so that was my answer. Listen, listen. I will tell you. I will tell you guys this: that um, again, this is my opinion, and everybody's entitled to their own opinion. But if you think that Joe Biden is a better president than Donald Trump, brother, you seriously need to look a little bit deeper into politics. Because I guarantee you, if you put what Donald Trump did for America versus what Biden has done versus America, Trump's gonna be up here, Biden's gonna be down here. You do know that. You do know that the cost of gas was at its lowest with Trump, that Mortgage rates were at its lowest with Trump, that um, that the housing market was at its lowest all around, that taxes were at its lowest, that businesses were booming um, at an incredible rate, that employment uh, what is, was at its lowest, um, that testing scores in high school were at its highest. Um, should I keep going? Seriously, seriously, I, I just, I just, hundred percent Biden is better. Not trying to implement fascism here, uh, fascism here, but plenty of things are better. Lower unemployment, more jobs, more investment in America, bro. You under, bro, 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 Anthony, brother, brother. I hate to tell you this, you do understand why employment is at its highest right now. Is because during COVID, everyone lost their jobs. COVID's gone, unemployment's back. You do know that. You do technically know that if you look at the numbers, and this is why I hate talking about politics, but if you look at the numbers, jobs are at the exact same. It's just everyone got their jobs back. It's just everyone got their jobs back from COVID. You do know that, right? He didn't make any new jobs. He didn't make any new jobs at all. Everyone just got their jobs back. That, that's just all it is, brother. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, bro. It, it has been proven. You can Google it. You can legit Google it. That, um, that he has actually lowered the actual real jobs made it is actually lower it's just everyone got their jobs back oh man oh man oh man oh man man but again every single person is entitled to their own every single person is entitled to I, oh, the factcheck.org. Oh my God. The factcheck.org. Anthony, you do know. Hold on a second, brother. He whipped out the factcheck.org. Anthony, you do. If you did your research, Anthony, if you did your research, Anthony, and you dug deep, deep into factcheck.org, you would know that factcheck.org is ran by people from CNN. You know who CNN is all about is all about the Democrat party, Biden this, Biden that. Oh. <laughs> he whipped out the factcheck.org. Oh man. Oh man. Oh, it's all right, buddy. It's good, dude. I, I listen, Anthony, I do not hate you at all. Um, and actually, I respect the fact that you have an opinion, brother. I, I, I 100% do. Um, 
Alex says, I strongly suggest you do more research uh, and further into politics, Hitman. I've never heard such more wrong information spewed out like that. It's a little crazy to hear you speak like this, Hit. Very disappointed. Brother, it's fine, man. It's fine. And again, and again, man, I'm telling you my opinions. I'm not just about to fucking ban you. I have no fucking reason to effing ban you, brother. I legit will not ban you because I have no reason to ban you. You said your opinion. I said my opinion. Um, and that's fucking it, brother. I have zero reason to ban you. Zero. Zero, man. Literally zero. Zero. Uh, look at Horny says, look at the border crisis going on. 100%. 100,000 fucking percent. That is another big, big thing with Biden. Right now, illegals crossing into our country is at an all-time high. Fentanyl crossing into our country is at an all-time high. Drugs crossing into our, um, is at an all-time high, man. We can argue policy opinions, but numbers are numbers. More jobs now than before the pandemic. No. No. Sorry, brother. Also, more money from Biden going to other countries than our fucking country. If if you look at the amount of money we are in debt from Biden, it's crazy, bro. It's crazy. It's crazy. It's astronomically fucking crazy. It's astronomically crazy. This world has never been where it's at as, as it is like right fucking now. We are trillions behind, not billions, trillions. Now, I will tell you this. Now, now I, I will tell you this. There is no good president. There's never been truly a good president. Every single president sucks in some way, shape, or form. Trust me. Um, trust me. Do I like um, Trump? I mean, he's, he's a dumbass. He's, he, he is a dumbass. He has, he has problems. He has done dumb shit. He said dumb shit. Um, but in my personal opinion, was he a better president? Yes. Now, I will also tell you this. Our country is not the only fucked up country. There are so many more fucked up countries. Um, there are so many corrupt politicians. Um, there is no good politician. There has never been a good politician. There will never be a good politician, ever, ever. Uh, I'm not gonna lie, hit. I woulda banned dude for saying saying that. I've seen you ban people for saying shit nowhere near as dumb as that. I'm not gonna fuck, nah, dude. Why would I ban him for him having an opinion? That's um, no, I'm not gonna ban. Chat, if, like, honestly, honestly, um, people, you know, they're the problem because they believe that 2023 is better than 2018. All right, Anthony, let me ask you fucking this, Anthony. Let me honestly ask you this. Hey, princess, how was school today? What? How did that happen? You're all right. Hey. Pops in there, right? I love you. Um, let me ask you this, all right? Yes. Oh, that's just a 
all right? That's just a small piece, baby, all right? It's all right. I'll be right there. Um, all right. Let me ask you guys this, all right? Let me ask you guys this. Anthony, was America better in 2018 or 2023? That's just all that I, that's just all that I want to know. Is America better in 2018 or 2023? I, I just, I'm, I'm not looking. It, oh man, I fucking hiccups. I'm not looking up for anything. I'm not looking for like, well, it's not better because of this, or it is better because of this. What year is was better for America? 2018 or 2023, people? I I want you. I want every person to answer that one question. What year was better for America? It's better now? Anthony, you... <sighs> Anthony, it's not better now, buddy. Anthony, I'm... So... <sighs> oh, my Lanta. Oh, my gosh. Anthony, you think, you think. No, 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 no. I didn't say 2016. I said, what year was better for America? 2018 or 2023? Not, I didn't say 2016. It's all right. I'm just gonna leave it at my fucking that, man. I'm just gonna leave it at that, man. You can, you, you can, you can 100% have your own opinion. I'm just gonna leave it at that. And 100%. Leave it. Ricky said 2018 made 2023 what it is today. <laughs> Wait, what? Wait, 2018 made what 2023 is today. said it's sad people still support trump brother i don't support trump i support a president who is for this country that's who i support that's who i support brother is any president that is for this country that's all i support oh man oh fuck me. <laughs> Lance says, didn't you say that? Yes. I said, if I had to choose between Joe Biden and Donald Trump, I'm going to choose Donald Trump. No, I'm not saying that in the election uh, in 2024, that if there is a person who is better than Trump, I will vote for that person. I will 100% vote for that person. I am not 100% Trump. I just feel in my personal opinion that Trump is way better than Joe Biden. Oh, man. No, I said you didn't say you supported him, dude. I said you didn't say you love him. 
What? No, I said you didn't say you supported him, dude. I fucking supported Trump. When he was president, I supported Trump. And you're in every... Body was saying, who would you rather have as president, Donald Trump or Joe Biden? Obviously, fucking Donald Trump, because he's a way better president than Joe Biden. Um, president Biden, what is your take on the current inflation rate that is spiking America across the country? Well, uh, the uh, current, current inflation rate, well, let me just tell you something here uh the current inflation rate uh is is well you know you know ice cream well listen listen, listen. Uh, um the inflation you know let's talk about why the inflation rate is at its highest um uh, um the the uh inflation um the inflation rate um uh, is at its highest because um that you know i have created so the highest amount of jobs um in america's you know since i became president i i have uh created so many jobs uh, in in this country uh um um because you know because all the egg farmers you know, I, I need to thank the egg farmers of America uh, for just making this country better. Thank you. <laughs> oh, Anthony says, damn, Hitman, you would criticize a guy for a speech impediment? Bro, he doesn't have a speech impediment. He's a dumbass. There's a big fucking difference. There's a big fucking difference, Anthony. Anthony says, damn, bro, you would criticize a guy for a speech impediment. I mean, he's just a dumbass. You don't have no speech impediment. He's a dumbass. There's a big fucking difference, goddammit. He's a big fucking difference. Big fucking difference. Well, uh, <laughs> now Anthony says, bro, you're going to make fun of him because of your speech impediment? You're probably the last person to make fun of any person with speech impediment. Let me fucking fucking tell you something, motherfucker. I will make fun of a person with a speech impediment in a fucking heartbeat because I have a goddamn speech impediment. I don't give a fuck. Oh, shit. I'm bored. I'll do it. Yeah, no, don't do it. I'll do it. It's fine. Don't do it. Don't do it. Yeah, all of a sudden, hey, let me just fucking tell you something, though. Let me fucking tell you something. When Joe Biden was vice president, goddamn, he could speak like a motherfucker. Hey, he didn't have any fucking problems talking goddamn then. I'll tell you that. I'll tell you that. He didn't have any problems then. He was talking just fine. Actually, let me fucking Google this. Hold on a second. I'm curious now. Let me fucking Google Go back. Let me see something. Joe Biden interview as yeah, let me see here. Joe Biden. Hold on a second. Let me see something. Because now I'm just fucking curious. Joe Biden interview 2008. Let's just see this. Here we go. Let me see here. Hold on. Hold on a second, chat. Hold on a second. I'm just curious now. I'm just fucking curious. Hold on, chat. Because now I'm just curious as shit. Hold on, chat. He's talking perfectly all right in 2008. Somebody, a guy named Neil Kinnick. Uh, and I just asked people, 
everyone else, look at the last 20 years of my career since that allegation occurred. But I think that... Uh... <laughs> he didn't have a motherfucking stutter then. <laughs> he didn't have a stutter then, motherfucker. I just want to motherfucker right there. Uh, Lance says, real talk, I don't come here for the politics. I come here for enjoyment and comedy. The rhetoric being spewed in the chat is annoying and nonsensical. Uh, I appreciate your content hit, but this is not something I want to see here. Well, you know what, Lance, I'm going to be quite freaking honest with you, brother. This is my stream, and I get that you don't want to talk about politics, and that's fine. You don't have to talk about politics, and you don't have to be here while we're talking about politics. If you don't like this, just leave. It's a very easy thing to do. If you don't like it, just leave and then come back tomorrow when I'm playing Warzone because I won't be talking about politics uh, tomorrow. You know, uh, and I rarely do talk about politics, but if I want to talk about politics, I'm going to talk about politics, brother. That's it, man. That's it. That's it, man. I just... We are, we are having an adult conversation, or at least I am having an adult conversation. I'm not freaking angry at anybody. I'm not saying I want him out of the chat or anything like that. If you don't like what we're talking about, just leave and then come back tomorrow. That's it, brother. That's it, man. That's, that is, that's it, brother. I am not pissed off at you. I'm not upset at you. I am actually, I'm not even pissed off at Anthony. Lance says, but the chat isn't. I'm tired of the stupidity from the chat. What stupidity? Everyone else is having their opinions too. You just don't like their opinions. You just don't like their opinions. That's it. That's it, brother. See, because like, if I didn't like Anthony's opinion, I would have banned him, but I didn't. Everyone's entitled to their own, own opinion, brother. Everyone feels how they want to feel. Like if it got to a point that I needed to ban, then I would ban. And simple. Uh, it's the attacking nature of the chat. I respect having different opinions, but the shit posting is what is unnecessary. What shit posting? Uh, from people saying that Biden is trash, that's their opinion. 100%, brother. Hundred 100,000%, man. It is. It's, so if my chat is bashing him it's because they don't like him they don't like him that's their opinion now i will tell you this chat now i will tell you this i don't want anyone personally attacking other people in the chat because that's not what this is about and if you personally attack a person in the chat you will probably be banned That's it, man. That's it. Hey, Ed, I appreciate the fucking 50 big bucks. Rich says, all politicians are trash, and I agree with you 1,000%. All politicians are trash. Literally, literally all politicians are trash. It's just which one isn't as trashy as, as the other one. 100%. I, I will 100% agree with you. Do I think that a president should tell a fucking woman... He wants to grab her pussy. Of course not. Uh, but you know what? Damn, man. That's it. All right, chat. Let me ask you guys this. Since, since we've been talking about Biden and all this stuff, what is y'all's opinions on rubber dildos 12 inches and above? Should those be legal? Should women have access to dildos 12 inches or bigger? <laughs> anybody, 
<laughs> should, in, <laughs> should women have access to 12 inch and larger cocks on the internet? I don't, I personally think, I personally think that no woman should have a 12 inch dildo in her nightstand, you know, you know, <laughs> those are fucking weapons. Those, those fucking are weapons. Yeah, you know, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> You know, you know, bro, I, I'm not even fucking with you, dude. I'm not even fucking with you last week. And I think I already told you guys this, but I'll fucking say it again. I was on Amazon and I was looking at sex toys. I don't know fucking why it was just interesting. And there's all different kinds. Now there was a fucking dildo that was three feet tall, not even fucking lying to you. Ladies, let me fucking tell you something right fucking now. If you take a three inch dildo, even if you take a third of that dildo in your puss, you need to speak to a therapist about something because there's something else wrong with, with your head uh, other than liking sex. There's something complete. I swear to God, bro. There is something, something else wrong with your head. Bro, it was a three foot dildo. I'm not even fucking lying to you. I'm gonna fucking look it up real quick. Hold on, look at this shit, dude. Look at this shit, hold on. I won't show you, but. Hey, hey, look, 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 look. To my mods, look. Mods, look in the chat right fucking now. Mods, look in the chat right fucking now. It costs six hundred and twenty-four dollars, chat. It costs six, dude. Uh, the balls are bigger than a coke can. Not even fucking lying to you, dude. Holly, I fucking told you, it's a three-foot dildo. It costs six hundred twenty-four dollars. I fucking told you. Guys, Google three foot dildo. Watch. Google three foot dildo. The first thing that pops up, it's called a sex flesh Moby three foot tall super dildo on Amazon. Go ahead. I'll fucking wait. Yeah. <laughs> Go ahead. I'll fucking wait. It's the first thing that pops up on fucking Amazon. Go ahead, I'll wait. I told you, yeah, the fucking balls. Bro, you can fucking use that as a fucking coat hanger, bro. Oh, I'm exhausted. Take off your coat, throw it on the dildo. <laughs> Take off your coat, what's up big freight? Throw that motherfucker, bro. I want to meet the fucking chick that's fucking that thing, bro. Straight up, dude. I want to fucking meet the chick that's fucking that thing, bro. Fuck me, dude. Fuck, bro. Click images. There are some that are taller than us. What? Hold on. I didn't even fucking think about the images. Oh, dude, there's a dude with one. The Fuck. Oh, there's a strap on with one. Oh my God. Oh my God. Bro, she's a gaper. Oh my fuck. Bro, bro. Man, if that was that was hung, I'd do porn. Bro, holy shit. Bro, what that shit is, is like a straight up pregnancy pillow. You know, you put that shit like right next to you. You fucking toss your effing leg over that motherfucker. Yeah, <laughs> you like to toss your leg over that motherfucker. God almighty. Hey, chat, we are 15 reactions away from 350. Can you guys hit that a reaction button for me? 
No, she is downstairs. She is downstairs. Guys, if you have hit that reaction button, we're five away. Five away. Five away. Could you just imagine? Let me fucking tell you something. If my wife said, hey, baby, I bought something today, but I need help with it because it's too heavy to get out of the car. I fucking walk my big ass to the fucking car and I see a big ass box that fucking weighs 125 fucking pounds. Like, Jesus Christ, baby, what did you buy? Ah, nothing, don't you fucking worry about it. I'll, I'll open it up effing later. So you know what? So I fucking leave and I go fucking run some errands and, and then I come home and she's fucking stuck on her big fucking three foot fucking rubber cock. God, dude, I can't get off. I can't. <laughs> Uh, Horny says, if you don't hit that reaction button, your wife is going to bang a three-foot dildo. <laughs> chat, we're three reactions away. Let's go. Three reactions away. All right, chat. Hey, I've got to fucking run. I have got to go. Um, chat, we're three. Now we're two reactions away. Let's go. Two. Two. Come on. Two reactions. Two. Two. One reaction. One reaction. One. One reaction, chat. There we go. All right, beautiful. All right, chat. Uh, I have got to run. Uh, I have got to go um, fix my beautiful, beautiful daughter's uh, ton toenail. Uh, let's send you guys over to my man, Mr. Boots, guys. Go over there, show him some love. I want to personally thank everybody for all the love today. All the stars, all the resubs, brand new subs. Thank you, guys. My mods, I love you guys so much. And guys, it's okay for people to have an opinion. Uh, our opinions will never match. It will never vary. And I will never, ever get mad at a person for having their opinion. I may call you dumb, but I will never get mad. I will see you guys tomorrow. I love you guys so much. God bless. Much love. Go show my man Boots some love. Boots. Hey, Vavel.